Actually, uh, in entire teaching of Buddha, every sentient being have a Buddha nature. Every sentient being can become Buddha. So, out of every sentient being, we are human being. You know, and then within the human being. There is man, there is women. Man is father, woman is mother. And how can there be any difference? In principle, in essence. But of course, there is difference in relative role. Mother can never be father. Father can never be mother. Mother always have to be mother. Father always have to be father. And uh, uh, that does not mean that uh, 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 one is superior and another is inferior. No. Different role. And this role should never be confused. Because if you get this role confused, then you will be very unhappy men and you will be very unhappy women. Because... Uh, you are already men and you are already women for this life. And uh, if you don't understand and appreciate uh, being a woman or being a man, then rest of your life you will be uh, struggling and confused and uh, uh, so much uh, complaint will be there uh, within yourself. So as uh, far as... Uh, essence is concerned no difference but uh, far as roles are concerned lots of differences and these differences are good differences necessary differences natural differences and honorable differences we should appreciate mother as a mother we should appreciate father as a father we should appreciate brother as a brother, we should appreciate sister as a sister, we should appreciate monk as a monk, we should appreciate nun as a nun, and we should appreciate uh, bo bo Buddhas and Bodhisattvas like uh, Manjushri, uh, uh, which manifests in a form of a man, as a, as a Manjushri, male, and uh, a Bodhisattva who manifests in a form of a female, like Saraswati. Uh, we should uh, uh, appreciate and, uh, uh, and uphold as a, a Saraswati female. Uh, and uh, uh, for example, like uh, uh, Chakrasambara as a male and uh, Vajravarahi as a female. And we have to appreciate and respect and practice them. We should not practice Chakrasambara as a female and Vajrayogini or Vajravarahi as a male. You know, uh, we should never do that. We should practice as they manifest.